Hi, my name is Derek Linden. I'm with the AWR Anson team. Uh, Anson stands for Antenna Synthesizer. And uh, I will be giving you a brief overview of the tool and uh, uh, give you a quick demo here today. Um, so what is Anson? Anson is a synthesis tool that allows you to enter your antenna specifications, run the synthesizer, and receive antenna designs out. Uh, it automates the antenna design process. And it features an expert system for antenna selection, fitness scoring, design space setup, etc. And uh, the antenna optimization engine is based on genetic algorithms. Here's some uh, early antenna synthesis res results um, across a wide range of applications, uh, planar designs, um, three-dimensional designs uh, that are pretty much only available via this computer-aided technique, uh, and others that are, say, with a Yagi antenna or, um, you know, uh, say, a blade antenna. They're similar to um, normal designs, but with some tweaks added by the optimization process. Now, one of our first um, watershed-type uh, um, designs was uh, a synthesized antenna on NASA's ST5 mission. Uh, it's a circularly polarized antenna, hemispherical coverage, and it's made from a single piece of wire that's bent into a particular shape that is optimized using our uh, technology. And uh, one of these antennas was placed on the top side of one of these microsats, and the uh, uh, a more traditionally designed uh, quadrifiler helix was placed on the other side, and the antennas performed flawlessly. So what was the motivation behind creating such a tool? Well, um, synthesis requires expertise in several fields. We found that our synthesized antennas could work very well, but it just wasn't an accessible technology to, uh, uh, to engineers in general. Um, antenna gurus, uh, kept retiring and continued to retire. Uh, in the 1950s, 1960s, a lot of antenna uh, design work was conducted. Uh, and those folks have retired, and many of those, the people who worked with those people have retired now. Uh, and so it is difficult to find someone with a really broad ex uh, antenna experience uh, in the workforce. Um, we saw that synthesis was able to save some efforts where traditional design methods actually failed. Um, and we were brought these projects that, were se that seemed uh, somewhat hopeless in terms of schedule, in terms of uh, budget. And our synthesis uh, process was able to make things work. Um, and there's always an accelerating need in the market for custom and high performance designs, especially as uh, the uh, space is getting more crowded. Um, the uh, power levels are desired to be dropped, so you want uh, efficient antennas. Your package sizes are going to be smaller, and so you need to make use of every bit of uh, volume that you can for antennas, because that will really, in large part, determine your performance and perhaps even your system performance. Um, and there's always increasing schedule and budget pressures. There's less and less time to wrestle with physics. So the features of Anson, uh, we've made the technology available to engineers of really any specialty. Uh, it's usable by non-antenna engineers and students, but uh, it has an intuitive interface, but it's also effective for antenna experts. You can gain rapid insight, uh, you can customize antenna design spaces uh, uh, very well, explore the limits of physics, and the system is sufficiently powerful to produce uh, finalized designs. Here are some uh, Anson design synthesis antennas uh, from a, a very wide band log periodic and Vivaldi um, to a, uh, a antenna that a Bluetooth antenna that was in a uh, wearable fitness tracker, uh, Wi-Fi antennas, and some spacecraft antennas. Uh, just showing you the range of, of the kinds of antennas you can get. Okay, so the uh, interface uh, is run in a browser uh, window. As you can see here, this is just Google Chrome browser. Uh, 
no software is necessary to be installed on the user's machine. Now this can be installed behind a company's firewall, so it doesn't have to be a cloud um, application. It can run on the company's intranet, but it doesn't run on the user's machine, which keeps it free for doing actual other engineering work. Um, to go down this, the, uh, what we call the spec sheet, which is how the specifications are entered, uh, you, use, you enter your frequency, uh, frequencies of interest and uh, note that you can enter them customized or uh, choose one of the, uh, the preset bands. Uh, you can also have multiple bands, uh, as many as you wish. Uh, you can set your load impedance and it's real and imaginary. So if you're, say, designing for a chip impedance um, that has a significant imaginary component that's available. Um, can also uh, uh, optimize for VSWR, return loss, or even a stop band um, in case you need to use the antenna as a filter for certain uh, interfering frequencies. Um, your pattern can be quite sophisticated if you wish it to be. Uh, where areas where gain is maximized and minimized and uh, you can see in the little 3D chart here um, what your coverage angles are. Just to show you something else too, there is a little icon of the antenna that shows you the uh, orientation of the antenna, whether it's X-oriented or Z-oriented. And note that all antennas in the library that you'll see in a little bit are all pointed towards the Z-axis, so you have an idea of what direction the antennas are pointing. You can also select your uh, polarization and uh, advanced features like axial ratio, cross-polarization, um, as well as uh, uh, overall efficiency. You can then constrain your antenna to a certain geometry uh, and size, and you can constrain your um, ground plane separate from the radiator itself. And then we have the antenna library. This has the various templates uh, of antennas that are available for, uh, for use. Um, and some of which are quite normal, like a log periodic antenna created using standard kinds of equations. Ver uh, also included is uh, these kinds of mesh and, and uh, computer generated antennas and all kinds of antennas in between. Uh, that have perhaps normal features, but are, it can be um, optimized by the system to perhaps give you better performance. Say a log periodic that could be shortened and give you better uh, multiband performance. We can also work with uh, multi-port antennas, say dual polarization, uh, and we can co-design a matching network as well as antenna arrays. Once you save and run the specification, you'll receive antennas out. And here is an example of a uh, of particular output. Uh, looks fairly conventional. This is a quadrifiler helix. Does a very good job of meeting our specification, as you can see. Um, but there's another antenna, very unusual. Uh, somewhat random looking, but also has some very interesting uh, pattern characteristics. Um, does not do quite as well on the cross pole, but uh, depending on your application, this might be sufficient. And this requires no phasing network or uh, really a matching network. It matches very well to 50 ohms. So if this was of interest and you had a CNC wire bender that you could uh, employ, this might be of uh, use. Another antenna type that you can then compare with is this Yagi antenna that's got a twist in it that produces circular polarization and actually on axis has a reasonably good um, cross polarization performance. So once you've selected the antenna that you're most interested in, you can simply download them, uh, download the file into of a, an electromagnetic simulator tool or to a uh, CAD program of your choice. Uh, we output DXFs, uh, we'll convert to a step file, 
uh, also have uh, SolidWorks, uh, SolidWorks macros. So for more information uh, and to learn more and uh, sign up for a trial license, please go to the uh, address you see here um, or uh, simply go to ni.com slash awr and uh, look for the Anson product page or talk to your local AWR sales representative. Thank you very much for your attention.